We started a little series. I hope to do more of this. Here's Lady Ada from high school. Um, a little bit after high school. A little bit after high school, uh, but really close. I do uh, have the lip ring, I want to say. I didn't get that till I was yeah, 18. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I've seen the picture of you in high school. You look identical. I look the same, yeah. So um, we did this little series called Tales from the Hack, um, where we, and I put this up on our blog, and it was because we were walking around after we'd been doing this floppy project, and uh, it kind of just hit you, and you told me the story, and I'm like, oh my god, the story is so good. I must, I must, I must email Mudge, who's now the CTO of Twitter, and Joe Grant Kingpin, and see if it's okay to post this story. So Lady Ada, take it away. What is this uh, thing that happened when you were in high school um, with uh, Joe Grant and Mudge, kind of pe well-known people in the hacker scene? At the, yeah, at the time they were um, local Boston buddies in the 617 crew, but um, when I was in high school, um, I, was, uh, I was helping out in the IT department, and um, they were tossing about a bunch of old, like Apple and, and Coco and TRS-80, like really old computer stuff that had been so, in wait. the cage. Are you saying in high school, you did computer stuff and you were uh, doing stuff with the IT department? It's true. I'm shocked. I know. Well, at the time, it wasn't so cool. But I was, yeah. I was just, you know, the, the IT director, she was really awesome. And I think I was just helping organize and clean up. And she was going to dumpster all the stuff. Um, and I was hanging out with a lot of hacker crews and, and hacker houses. And, um, you know, one thing that I knew about hackers is, like, they love old hardware, especially free hardware. Um, and so it when I... It tastes better if it's free. It does taste better. So I, you know, I, I called up or I emailed or I messaged Kingpin. Maybe I paged him because he was doing pager stuff. And I said, hey, um, come by to high school um, and uh, help me dig through this, this trash. And maybe we can find something cool. We could either sell it at swap meet or we could recycle it into some projects. Um, so Joe, Joe Grant came by. Um, he does a lot of hardware hacking stuff now and does, does product design for Parallax, among others. Um, we dug through some hardware. We, we, I think we got a, a pile of Apple two C's, and then we had to get it. Um, I think to the loft. And you know, me and Joe Grand were like, we weren't dri we didn't drive. I think he was like 18 or 19, and maybe he didn't have a car. And I, I was, I don't think I was 16. I didn't have a driver's license yet, or at all. And um, so he's like, okay, let me call um, Mudge. So Mudge came by, and he he drove in in this like incredible car, like the coolest fucking. This car. is not the actual car, but I asked Mudge. This is pretty close, though. This is a, it's the same car, but you know, it's I don't a, know if his. his it's a I don't Mustang. Think he had tinted. Must nineties. No, it's a Cobra. Yeah, it's a Cobra Mustang. This was the coolest car ever. What's funny is you ask much like, oh, what was that car? And he instantly like knew all the specs and mods. I mean, he, he loved that yeah. car. Yeah. Um, he drove up in this like sweet ass car in front of the quad, where all you know after school, um, where all the kids were like smoking and um, skateboarding and and whatever hanging out because it's kind of the outside quad area of the high school. And this like, car drives up, and it's just like this totally bitchin' car. And I get in with these Apple two Cs, and like everybody in the high school was like, "What? What the hell? Why? Why do you have a friend with such a cool car? Why were you carrying some Apple two Cs?" And we thought you were a loser, but it turns out that you ha your friends are cooler than ours. So I was like, I was kind of cool for like two days. So let me tell you some parts that Lady Ada is not going to say. Sorry. Um, so. Uh, well, first up, let me just do the big thank you. So thank you, Mudge and Joe Grant, for being you because they saw something in this young woman who was interested in technology, who was getting um, made fun of a lot, who was getting tormented a lot, who was told, don't do this, this isn't for you, girls don't do this. All the things that happened still to this fucking day. And I'm kind of tired of it. Like, yeah. like today we got an email, how dare you do retro stuff? How dare you do this? This is mine. It's so terrible what... People do to each other. I actually love right that people now. think I'm like 25. I, I, like I'm much I, older than I'm that. So, and I'm sorry to curse, but it, it bothers me that when you told me this story, I was looking at a tweet that we had to block some guy because he was being so shitty online about w you liking technology. This is a waste of time. Why is this? Why is this uh, uh, wannabe goth? Uh, I'm not going to even say the curse words they yeah. said. But like, why? Why is your experience have to be so much different? Like, if you were if you were a, a young boy, it would be like, oh, look how he liked computers; it's so good. But because you were a woman, I don't know. I think we we live in a society that yeah, um, I don't like it. That's I don't like not. It. Uh, and, and I'll say this for 2022. I'm sorry, everybody. Like, we have to call it out. We have to say stop. I mean, yeah. we're going to be positive and we're going to show good things. But it's a little ridiculous that the day that we're getting this story and you're like, yeah, the people made fun of me and I was cool in high school just for like a day because of this. And we're like dealing with people being shitty to you. I don't like it. I don't like it. And here's the other part. Here's and the, I shrug not because it, I think it's not a big deal. I, I shrug because it's, it, it, so you know, here, I agree. So I, I have a, let me put it on time travel because I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to uh, even have the Apple logo look at this. 
Oh, so, <laughs> sorry, Apple logo. Look away. Cover, cover you, your little you're, rainbow you're, you're eyes. You're too beautiful. Yeah. So I remember I was talking to a CEO-like person of a company that's very similar to Adafruit. And I was telling them about something that we had to deal with. We had to basically get a restraining order against someone because of something that they said did send mail. We just physically. Anyways, it was a messed up it thing. It got granted. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a messed up story. And uh, they said, oh, you know, things can't be that bad. And I, I said, have, have you ever gotten flowers delivered to you with a death threat and saying, I'm going to cut your head off because you're Trinity from the Matrix? Um, have you ever had to deal with having, uh, uh, making sure there was enough people around going to an event so they didn't bother you? Like all these things. He's like, no. And I'm like, yeah. So like, please don't say like, it can't be that bad. Like yeah. your experience, you're like, oh, I have to like run a business and it's really tough. Well, not only does Lamore have to run a business, but she has to deal with all these things constantly like today it doesn't make the debugger run any faster either like i still have all the technical problems too yeah and like adafruit worked out okay i would yeah. say we're a successful company can you imagine if you didn't have to deal with all that stuff how much more hardware you can get out yeah so anyways i'm a little upset because um i thought this was a beautiful story but i also know the other side of the coin so maybe i'll edit this out later oh we're live i can't okay so that's okay. our tales from the hack okay